Think Mate, it's do. pretty much just active lying down. Yeah. It's good, good bit of bit of meditation, yeah. bit of uh, relaxation, good for rehab at the moment. Come on. It's called planking, and it involves laying flat on your face in different, often dangerous situations. This guy, he's playing with his mate in the gym. There's a plank. Uh, another bloke managed to get up on a street sign to plank. So that's bad and technique, though. Bad technique yeah. and personal favour. This bloke actually locking himself in a freezer <laughs> while planking. Was he alive? <laughs> <laughs> that might have been just keeping him cool. There are only a few basic rules to follow. After lying face down, expressionless, you need to straighten your arms and legs and point your fingers and toes. Before you know it, you're one of the growing number of people planking. And if you're a serious planker, you'll need to name your plank and then post a photo of it on Facebook. The possibilities are endless. The office plank, the boat plank, the blue collar plank, the clothesline plank. And for those who like to plank in numbers, there's the double plank, the synchronised plank and even planking with pets. My name is Smock. I have uh, an unusual condition. It, the doctors say it's, it's plankitis, type B. Um, pretty much, I, I just can't control my planking. I started, before, right when I learned how to walk, I learned how to plank. And I just can't control it. It's one of those things. It's like a tick, almost. And I just, I, I have to plank. And I can't, if I don't plank, I, I start to shake. And I get really scared. And it's... It's just really hard. Hello, is this thing on? Oh, hi. I am Jorge Molnaro. I am the best planker in all of the world. I am number one planker in Kazakhstan, in Spain, the United States, Canada, and even Mexico. I'm the best. Nobody's better than me. Planking was actually a uh, sport in the Olympic Games, first recorded in 776 BC. Um, Competitors planked the top of an object and judges held up fingers based on how good the plank was. And uh, if, if, if the competitor failed to, to plank correctly, the, they were sent to the lion dens uh, where they would be mauled to death. So it, it was pretty serious back then. It just it ruins my, all my relationships, my friendships, because I just, I, I don't want to do anything except planking. Plunking was not only an Olympic sport, but it was also a way to impress a, a lover, to, to seduce a lover. Uh, a Roman by the name of Smogis once planked on top of uh, a pointy rock for three days straight just to impress his lover, and he ended up losing her love to another man. I got into planking because when I was a young kid, I was watching the show Ed, Ed and Eddie, and the name of their piece of wood was plank and there was this sport called planking so I always was just walking around the house and I would try to plank in the bathtub in my bed on top of the kitchen counter and I mean sometimes I fall off crack my head go boom another time I broke my arm it's a dangerous sport you know People don't want to get into planking because of the dangers. I mean, you could just look around this place, all of the wonderful places to plank. Uh, during uh, the Civil War many years later, planking was actually seen as a tactic. Uh, snipers from the Union would um, plank on top of a building, uh, a wall, and they would slowly pick off squadrons of Confederate soldiers. Uh, and, and this was seen as a very, very good tactic to, to uh, silly pick off, pick off soldiers from the from the opposing army. Another instance of uh, planking used as a tactic was during the Vietnam War, where a sniper by the name of Lou Black Rail Tub took out an entire, uh, entire group of Viet Cong soldiers, and uh, he was he was held uh, in the highest respect for his for his actions. Uh, later that week, he actually tried it again and fell off and broke both his legs. He was, he was sent home uh, later that week. 
When I was 13 years old, I entered into the Olympics, the 2002 Olympics. It was a very hard competition, but because I was so small and nimble, I was able to win the competition. From that point on, nobody's been as good as me. The 2012 Olympics, it's, it's in the bag. I got that. Nowadays, planking is also seen in the Olympics. Uh, Jorge Monero, aka Get On My Level, is the top planker right now. He actually won the 2002 Olympics and uh, he looks like a top competitor for 2012. If you know the sport luging for the Winter Olympics, they actually pose in a plank position when going down, going down the, the ice and this, this was also originated from planking and is now seen as a very competitive sport in the Winter Olympics. So really, in my life, my main entrance is just planking. And other than that, I'm, I'm really into soup. And that's just about, just soup and planking. And it makes it hard to make friends because there aren't that many people that have to plank like me. And when I'm not planking, I'm just, I'm researching and making and eating various types of soup. And I, I, there's no one else out there like me. And it's just, it makes it hard to live. And some days I just, I just, just break down and just can't stop eating soup. Thank you.